Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Unit 6 Interchange 1 Unit 6 Part 2 8 Exercise number 8 Discussion Sports and Athletes Sports and Athletes Look at the picture. What do you see? Stadium Fans Footballer Footballer Player of football Group work Take asking and answering these questions. Who is your favorite athlete? And why? Favorite athlete? Famous athlete. Athlete, someone who practices sport. Why? My favorite athlete is Shikabala. Messi, El Khatib, Bibo, Maradona. Why? Because they are professional players. They are good players. Who are three famous athletes in your country? In your country, in Egypt. Tell me famous, popular, Athletes Messi El Khatib Shikabala Rania Elwani Rania Elwani Swimmer Great Swimmer Rania Elwani Do you ever watch sports on television? On TV? Which ones? I watch sports on TV. I watch football. Tennis. And volleyball. I watch football, tennis, and volleyball. Do you ever watch sports live? Live? Now. Means you go to the stadium and watch the sports. You watch the football match in the stadium. Which ones? I usually watch football matches live. This is live. This word live. Adjective. Verb live. Verb live. I live in Egypt. I live in Cairo. But adjective live, live happening now, now. What are two sports you don't like? Two sports you don't like, you hate, you hate to watch them. I don't like wrestling, I don't like boxing, I don't like wrestling and boxing. What sport or activity do you want to try? A sport or activity you would like to try? Like what? I want to try karate. Karate? Karate. British karate. American karate. I want to try. I want to try swimming. I want to try ping pong, table tennis. I want to try volleyball.
Exercise number nine. Writing about favorite activities. Write about your favorite activities. Include one activity that's false. Here, in this exercise, you will write about your favorite sport, your favorite activity. I love to exercise. I usually work out every day. Work out, do exercise. I usually work out every day. I get up early in the morning and go running for about an hour. So I get up early in the morning and go running for about an hour. It means every day I go jogging for about an hour. Then I often go to the gym and do aerobics with some friends. Then I often go to the gym, go to T soft D. Often T silent. Then I often go to the gym and do aerobics with some friends. Sometimes I play tennis in the afternoon. I play So here, this is going to be homework. You will write one paragraph about your favorite activities. Exercise number 10. Look at the picture. What do you see? Young man, young lady. The man is what? Is in good shape. He's in great shape. He's fat. He's fat. The young lady. She's beautiful. She has blonde hair. What are they doing? They're playing tennis. They're playing tennis. They are playing tennis. Let's start to listen. Conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. Fitness freak. Someone who practices sports very much. A person who goes crazy about sport. Let's start to listen. Page 39. Exercise 10. Conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. Part A. Listen and practice. Exercise 10. Conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. Part A. Listen and practice. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Ruth is a young lady. Keith is a young man. So, what's Keith like? What's he like? Describe him and tell him about his personality. What's his character? What's his character? What's his personality? What's he like? Appearance and personality. Keith is in great shape. He's a fitness freak. Fitness freak? Someone who practices sports a lot. Someone who practices sport a lot. How often does Keith work out? Work out, do exercises. Keith does aerobics twice a week. And he plays tennis every week. So he does aerobics and he plays tennis. How well does he play? He plays pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty T of D. Pretty well. Very well. Is Ruth good at playing tennis? 
No, she's not. Keith will give her a few tips. Tips? The word tips means money. I pay tips in the restaurant. But here, I give her a few tips. Means what? I'll give... I'll give a few tips. It means what here? Give advice. To give advice. To tell you the instructions. To tell you how to play. So Keys will tell Ruth some tips. He will tell her how to play tennis. Bart B. Page 39. Exercise 10. Part B. Listen to Keith and Ruth after their tennis match. Who's the winner? Good game, Keith. Thanks. You too. And congratulations on the win. You play pretty well. Oh, no, not really. How often do you play? Once or twice a year. I'm just lucky today, I guess. Want to play another game? Um, sure. After a five-minute break. Good game, Keith. Thanks. You too. And congratulations on the win. You play pretty well. Oh, no, not really. How often do you play? Once or twice a year. I'm just lucky today, I guess. Want to play another game? Um, sure. After a five-minute break. Who is the winner? Ruth is the winner. Ruth is the winner of the tennis match. This is Ruth. How often does Ruth play tennis? Ruth plays tennis once or twice a year. One time or two times in a year. Ruth is not a professional player. Exercise number 11 Listening I'm terrible at sports I'm terrible at sports Here we have three pictures This one Couch potato Couch potato Someone who's what? Sitting Watching television Lazy doesn't practice in sport, not active. Fitness freak. Fitness freak, a person who practices sports a lot. This person, for example, running on the treadmill, treadmill, at the same time, it is with training. So, weight training and running on the treadmill at the same time. This means it's fitness freak. Crazy about practicing sport. Loves practicing sport a lot. Picture number three. Sports fan. A lot of flags. This is flag. Someone who encourages a person who encourages a team. Like Altras Ahlawi, Altras Zemalkawi. This means a sports fan. Now let's start to listen. Eyes 11. Listening. I'm terrible at sports. Listen to Dan, Jean, and Phil discuss sports and exercise. Who is a couch potato? A fitness freak? A sports fan? How good are you at sports, Dan? Are you kidding? I'm terrible. But I love to watch sports. I go to football or baseball games all the time. And I buy three or four different sports magazines every week. Wow! Listen again. Phil discuss sports and exercise. 
who is a couch potato, a fitness freak, a sports fan. How good are you at sports, Dan? Are you kidding? I'm terrible. But I love to watch sports. I go to football or baseball games all the time. And I buy three or four different sports magazines every week. Wow. Dan. So Dan is a couch potato, a fitness freak, or a sports fan. Dan is a sports fan. Why? He likes to watch sports. He likes to watch football and baseball. He buys three or four sports magazines. So every week he buys, then buys three or four sports magazines. He's terrible at sport. He doesn't practice sport. He doesn't go to the gym. So, Dan, a sports fan. Let's listen. You like sports, Gene? Oh, yes. I like to exercise. But I don't watch sports very much. And I never buy sports magazines. How much time do you spend exercising? Well, I guess I exercise about two or three hours a day. I do aerobics three times a week, and the other days I go swimming. That's great. Do you like sports, Gene? Oh, yes. I like to exercise. But I don't watch sports very much, and I never buy sports magazines. How much time do you spend exercising? Well, I guess I exercise about two or three hours a day. I do aerobics three times a week, and the other days I go swimming. That's great. Jean. So, Jean is couch potato or fitness freak. Jean is a fitness freak. Jean likes to exercise a lot. Every day. She exercises every day. She exercises two or three hours every day. She goes to the gym three times a week and she practices swimming. She goes swimming on the other days. Jane doesn't watch sports much and she never buys a magazine. Jane never buys a magazine. Let's listen number three. What about you, Phil? Oh, I'm too lazy to play sports. I really hate exercising. And I almost never go to any sporting events. In my free time, I like to sit with my feet up and watch my favorite TV shows. Listen again. And what about you, Phil? Oh, I'm too lazy to play sports. I really hate exercising. And I almost never go to any sporting events. In my free time, I like to sit with my feet up and watch my favorite TV shows. Who is a couch potato? Phil is a couch potato. Phil never goes to any sports events. He likes to have his feet up and watch his favorite TV program. He watches his favorite t TV show. He hates exercising. He hates going to the gym. He doesn't go to the gym. He doesn't practice sport. So he's a couch potato. He's very lazy. Exercise number 12. Grammar folks. Page 40. Exercise 12. Grammar focus. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. 
Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. Questions with how and short answers. How often do you work out? How often? Said how many times? How many times do you work out? Do aerobics? Work out? Do exercises? I often work out every day, twice a week. I don't exercise very often. So how often? Every day, twice a week, not very often. Question, how often? Answer, every day, twice a week, not very often. Twice, twice a week, two times a week. When you go to the gym, how long do you spend in the gym? How long? Every time you stay, one hour, two hours, three hours. How long do you spend in the gym? 30, 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends, about an hour in weekends. So how long do you spend in the gym? 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. How well? How well do you play? Well, describe the verb. How well do you play tennis? How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. Pretty. T soft D. Pretty well. About average. About average. T soft D. About. Between U and A. About average. Not very well. I don't play tennis very well. How good? How good are you at sports? How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Pretty good. Very good. Okay. Not so good. How often do you? How often do you plus main verb? How often do you work out? How often do you watch TV? I mean how many times? A ask a question. B I watch TV every day. I work out twice a week. I don't watch TV very often. So this is B. A and B. How long? A. How long? How long do you? Plus main verb. How long do you spend at the gym? How long do you study English? How long do you watch TV? B. 30. 30 minutes a day. 2 hours a week. About an hour on weekends. 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week, about an hour, an hour on weekends, weekends, days off, Saturdays and Sundays, weekends, Saturdays and Sundays in the USA, in Egypt, Friday, sometimes Saturday, Friday and Saturday. How well? A and B. How well do you? How well do you play tennis? How well do you speak English? I play tennis pretty well. Pretty well? Very well. Excellent. I speak English about average. About average? Usual. Like anyone. Not very well. I don't play tennis very well. Short answer? Not very well. How well do you play tennis? Not very well. How good? 
How would I use at plus what? Or verb plus ing. How would I use sports? How would I use speaking English? How would I use cooking? B. I am. I am pretty good. I'm okay. I'm not so good. So answer, pretty good. Short answer, pretty good. Okay, not so good. <gasps> Hello again, guys, and welcome to My English Brain. Today, we're talking about how. How questions specifically. Okay, and now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is questions with how. For example, for a question about the specific frequency of an action, we use how often. How often. For example, how often do you fight crime? Or what's the frequency that you fight crime? To answer, we use specific frequency adverbs and a time period. For example, once a day, once a week, or maybe twice a month, or three times a year, or four times a year. If we want to say every day, we can use every day, or maybe every week, every month, or every year. And we can also use the negative not very much. Remember, how often is for the specific frequency and we use specific frequency adverbs to answer the question. The next question with how? How long? How long is for a duration, a question about duration. So for example, how long do you spend fighting crime? Now, look at the verb spend. Spend is a verb we use when we want to know and we want to talk about the amount of time that we do something. Now, fighting is the principal verb and it's in the ing form. When we use spend, the principal main verb is always in the ing form. So in the question, how long do you spend fighting crime is a question about the quantity or the amount of time the person fights crime. So we use an answer with duration. For example, 30 minutes a day, one hour a day, or maybe two hours a week, or a few hours a week. Remember, how long is about the duration, a question about the duration of the verb. The next question with how is about ability. How well and how good. It's the level of the skill or the level of the ability the person has with a verb or a specific action. For example, with how well, the question, how well do you run? This question asks about the person's ability to run. When we answer, we use well in our answer. Really well or very well. Pretty well is okay. And about average is also okay. Not very well is not good. When we use the question how well, it's important to use well in the answer. When we use the question with how good, for example, how good are you at running? Notice the difference between how well and the form of the question and how good and the form of the question. With how good, we use are, the preposition at, and we use the verb in the ing. The reason, after a preposition, the verb is always ing. With the question, how good are you at running, we can answer really good, pretty good, okay, and not so good. Again, when you use good in the question, we need to use good 
in the answer. Now, to review the questions with how. When we ask about specific frequency, we use how often. How often do you fight crime? When we ask about the duration of the action, we use how long. And often we use spend and the verb and the ing. How long do you spend fighting crime? When we ask about the ability, we have two ways. How well and how good. How well do you fight crime? And how good are you at fighting crime? Remember, when we use good, we need to use the verb are, the preposition at, and the verb in the ing form. Very good. Now, it's time to practice. A. Complete these questions, then practice with a partner. Number one. A. Ask a question. B. Answer. At volleyball. I guess I'm pretty good. I often play on weekends. Answer. Pretty good. Question. How? Hmm? How good? How good are you at? How good are you at volleyball? How good are you at volleyball? I guess, I think, I'm pretty good. I'm very good. I often play on weekends. Two. A. Ask question. Spend online. B. About an hour. About an hour after dinner. I like to chat with my friend. About an hour after dinner. I like to chat with my friend. What's the question? How long? How long do you spend on lying? How long do you spend on lying? About an hour. About an hour after dinner. I like to chat with my friends. Three. Question. Play cards once or twice a month. It's a good way to relax. How often do you play cards? I play cards once or twice a month. One or two times a month. It's a good way to relax. It's a good way to relax. Number four, question. B said, not very well actually. I need to take a typing class. How well can you type? How well can you type? Not very well. Actually, not very well actually. I need to take a typing class. I need to take a typing course. Class here means what? Course. Course. Exercise 14. Reading. Health and fitness quiz. How healthy and fit do you think you are? Skim the questions below. Then guess your health and fitness score from zero, very unhealthy, to 55, very healthy. So here, this quiz, short test about your healthy or not healthy. Your food and nutrition. Nutrition is the science of food. How the food affects your health and your body. How many meals do you eat each, each day? Every day. How many meals do you eat? Four or five small meals? Three meals? One or two meals? So every day you eat how many meals? Four or five small meals, three meals, plus two snacks. A snack, a light meal. Three meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner. If you have five, four or five meals, five marks, five points. How often do you eat at regular times during the day? It means what? 
Every day, you have breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning, lunch at 1 o'clock, dinner at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. So it must be on the time, on time, regular times. Almost always, usually, hardly ever, hardly ever, rarely. Question number three. How many servings of fruit or vegetables do you eat each day? So every day, do you eat fruits and vegetables? If you eat five or more, five or more of fruit and vegetables, of fruits and vegetables, like uh, apples, bananas, tomato, cucumber, salad, you will get five points. One to four, three points. None, zero. Question number four. How much junk food do you eat? How much junk food do you eat? Junk food, fast food. Junk food, not healthy. Very little, about average, about average, ordinary, usual, a lot. Question number five. Do you take vitamins? Yes, every day. Sometimes. No. Yes, every day, five points. Sometimes, you'll get three. If you don't take vitamins, you'll get zero. The question here, do you take vitamins? In Egypt, if you are sick, you're sick. You go to the doctor, you take vitamins. In the USA, you're healthy, you're fat, you're in good health, and then you take some vitamins to be healthier. To be healthier, so you take more vitamins. Your fitness. How often do you exercise? How often do you play a sport? How often do you play a sport? Three or more days a week? One or two days a week? Never, never, zero. But if you go to the gym, three days or more will have five points. If you practice sport, like volleyball, Football, one or two days a week, you will take three points. Seven, which best describes your exercise program? Your exercise program, both weight training and aerobic exercise. It means you do exercise, you do aerobics, and Weight training, you lift weights, lifting weights, five marks. Either weight training or aerobic exercise, either, either A or B. It means you have a program, but it's only weight training. It's only aerobic exercise. C, none. What mean none? No aerobic exercise, no weight training. How important is your fitness program to you? Your fitness program, is it important or not important? If your fitness program is important, very important, five marks. Fairly important, three marks. Not very important, zero. Take care of the sound, very important. Fairly important, not very important. Very important, five marks. Not very important, zero. Fairly important, fairly, rather important, somewhat important. So this is three. Your health. Nine. Which best describes your weight? Weight, GH silent. Within six pounds, 
three kilogram of my ideal weight, ideal perfect. Five points. Within ten pounds, four point five kilograms of my ideal weight, three points. More than twelve pounds, five point five kilogram over or under my ideal weight, my ideal weight, ideal perfect weight. What's the perfect weight? The perfect weight is how tall are you minus 100. This is the ideal weight. 10. How often do you get a physical exam? Physical exam. Once a year. Every two or three years. Rarely. Physical exam is exam to check the body. Checkup exam. So here, physical exam, you're fit, you're okay, you're healthy, you don't have a problem, but you, you what? You get a physical exam. How often do you sleep well? How often do you sleep well? Always, usually or sometimes, hardly ever or never. I always sleep well. I usually sleep well. I sometimes sleep well. I hardly ever sleep well. I never sleep well. What does it mean to sleep well? To sleep well, to sleep seven or eight hours without stopping without getting up some people they sleep seven hours A person gets up and stay for about 15 minutes then he sleeps again another two hours he gets up again rate yourself total points after that you add all of these points together. What is the total? Total points? 46 to 55. Excellent job. Keep up the good work. 31 to 45. Good. Your health and fitness are above average. 16 to 30. Your health and fitness are a little below average. 15, 15 or below, you can improve your health and fitness. You can improve your health and fitness. You can go to the gym. Unit 6, workbook. 1, team sport. Sport that needs groups of players. Team sport, sport that needs groups of players. Individual. Individual, one. Individual, indi, individ, individual, one. Four, karate, a sport of self-defense, a sport of self-defense. Soccer, football, soccer, football. Exercise seven, outdoors. Indoors. Hike. Walking for long time. British. Walking for long time. Camp overnight. Camp overnight. GH silent. Spanish. Related to Spain. Portuguese. Portuguese. Related to Portugal. Related to Portugal. Racket ball. Racket ball. Eight. False. Wrong. Not true. False. Wrong. Not true. Ten. Fitness freak. 
Like practicing exercise too much. Pretty well. Pretty, T soft D. Pretty well. Excellent. Give tips. Give advice. Congratulations on. Congratulations on. On. Lucky. Fortunate. Five minutes break. Sports magazine. A magazine port. Do aerobics. Do aerobics. Do what 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 sound between O and A. خلبان لنا في صوت W أو ال what sound. هيبقى في link عشان الكلمة الأول نية أخيرا حرفها O والكلمة التانية بدأ بحرف متحرك. Do aerobics. The sound of O at the end of the word, and there is vowel in the beginning of the word. Do aerobics. Play cards. Play cards. Eleven. Terrible. Too bad. Couch potato. Couch potato, not very active, lazy. Exercise 10, fitness freak. Fitness freak, like practicing exercises too much. A sport fan, sport audience. Too lazy to play sport. Too lazy that he can't play sport. 12. How often? T silent. How often? How many times? How long? How well do you play tennis? How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. Pretty well. T soft D. Pretty well? Excellent. About average. About average. T صف D the stress on the bass sound الضغط على حرف ال B وال T هتبقى صف D about average ordinary British ordinary American ordinary not very well not good fourteen Exercise 14, the passage. خلبنا إن ال ال exercise رقم 14 هو عبارة عن القطع. فيها كلمات كتيرة شوي. فممكن لما تيجي تذكر القطع تقرأ الكلمات الأول وبعد كده الطالب يبدأ يذكر. 14 quiz test health and fitness nutrition nutrition the food people eat and how it affects their health. Nutrition, the food people eat, and how it affects their health. Meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Junk food, fast food, food that's not good for you. Junk food, fast food. Average, Medium, usual, average, usual, both, two things together, wet, wet, gh silent, wet, how many pounds or kilos a person is, the care pound here doesn't mean Egyptian pound, like one, two, three, money. No. Here it means wet. Ideal. Desired. Perfect. Rugby. A sport in the USA. Video games. Regular. Regular. Punctual. Regular. Punctual. Serving. 
vegetables vegetables e silent veg vegetables e silent خلي بالنا ان الاي هنا بتبقى حرف ساكن لا ينطق عشان في بعض الطلبه بتنطقها غلط و ايه vegetables no vegetables vegetables e silent fitness pound pound a measure of weight gh silent a measure of weight improve develop to make better improve develop to make better that's the end of the vocab book unit 6 welcome Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.